everybody's least favorite thing to talk about is stable coins, right? They're super boring. They hold their peg to the dollar almost flawlessly, almost flawlessly. And there's not much change there. But there is some stuff that you need to know about when we look at stable coins, because not all ones are created equal. Now, obviously, Tether dominates the space. $66 billion of market cap. Okay, it's the largest stable coin on the block, USDC, just behind it at $44 billion. Now, there was a time where Tether had huge, huge dominance over the market. Almost 90% of the market cap of stable coins was occupied by Tether. But it has since fallen below 50%. And its global dominance is falling as time continues to move forward. It's market dominance. Now, we can see here by this chart that USDC in the blue is creeping up closer and closer to the market cap of USDT. There are others that are continuing to grow as well. You have DAI, which is in purple. You have BUSD. And the question now stands, what is going to happen? Is USDT going to remain the top dog? Or are we going to see a little bit more evening out of the stakes here? Now, not all stable coins are created equal. We've obviously seen some other ones that have been bad actors, that have had bad protocols, that have ended up falling to zero, right? So obviously, the more diversification in stable coins, the better. Okay, It's a better opportunity to protect your assets. Now, there are going to be more stable coins that are launched in the near future, we know of a few on Cardano. For example, there's JED, D-J-E-D is how it's spelled, which is going to be an algorithmic stable coin collateralized by uh, ADA. And that's going to have four to eight hundred percent collateralization, which we haven't seen from any coins before. Nothing has held that much collateral before. There's also going to be the first uh, completely not regulated, but it's regulation approved stablecoin, fiat-backed stablecoin, and that is going to be uh, USDA, <laughs> not to be confused with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, okay? Completely different thing. But this is also going to be launched on Cardano. There are all these solutions that are coming out that may, you know, bump USDT down just a little bit more as time continues to move forward. We may see a lot more stabilization, you know, amongst all these, these uh, distribution as time continues to move on. And that's probably a, a safe bet for holders, right? The more, the more variety, the better, as long as it is good protocols that you're putting your holdings in. But just wanted to make everyone aware of the things that are happening. The global landscape of crypto continues to change on the daily basis. And we can see from this chart, things may look a lot different as we move into 2023. So as always, appreciate you guys stopping in, checking out the video. If you haven't already, definitely show your support for here for the Clear Cryptos channel. Uh, you can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. If you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell as well. So appreciate you guys as always, and really hope to see you in the next one. Take care.